Track will be having a home meet today at 3.30. They would love to have as much support as possible. Good morning, SK. I'm Maddie Martin, and she's Bailey Burbank. Bringing to you WTV. Any lost and found not collected from the security office by the end of the school day Friday will be donated to charity. Mr. SK applications are at the ASB office, and you can turn them into the folder on the music department door. Applications are due this Friday, so hurry and fill one out. All students going to the youth rally will meet in the commons at 7.30 this Friday. Buses will leave the high school at 7.45. Please do not be late. No food or backpacks are needed. And seniors, it's time to start thinking about graduation. If you wanted to sing, perform, or anything of the such, packets are available now in the guidance office. Big shout out to the JV fast pitch team for gritting out a fantastic win against Rogers. 13-10 and an international tiebreaker. Way to represent. Keep up the great work. And our varsity fast pitch has no player currently on the roster who has even known what it feels like to beat Rogers until yesterday. SK beats Rogers 3-0. Our entire batting order did a great job pressuring the Rogers defense all day. Girls Water Polo faced another tough matchup last night against Bainbridge Island and fell 17-3. Abby Cooler, Marina Lynham, and Anya Fogel each scored a goal, and Ronnie Wellman played a tough game in the goal. The ladies' tennis won 4-1. Ginger Cermak, Eliza Filarma both won their single matches. Malia Bratton and Abby Huizington won at number two doubles in straight, and Ashlyn Potts and Ashlyn Nelson secured the win at number three doubles, 6-2 and 6-1. Varsity Lacrosse beat Kingston in Olympic League play 32-0 on Monday night. Ten players scored, and a lot of JV boys got to see some varsity time. Donovan Barrick with nine goals and two assists. Freshman Zach Lamkin with a breakout performance. JV Lacrosse took on Gig Harbor, losing 9-1. This was the first opportunity for a lot of the players to get on the field and play lacrosse. Not enough sports results? Well, here's the schedule of events. Seniors, have you completed your high school and beyond plan yet? If not, you better plan to get to the Career Center to complete this, because yes, you really won't graduate if you don't do it. Juniors, if you're planning on attending a four-year college, you should register for a spring SAT or ACT exam. See the Career Center or the Counseling Office for more information. The junior work-study position at PSNS has been reopened for applications and closes tomorrow. Take advantage of this second chance at applying for the position. See the Career Center for help. So, hey Maddie, feeling pretty honest today? <laughs> what, Bailey? Director, hit it. Remember, honesty is always the best policy. Groups, clubs, and student organizations, if you want your group photo taken, you must have this completed by Friday. Please contact Ms. Lockhart by email to organize the photo. Stop by Lobo Froyo this week to purchase a Ronald McDonald Helping Heart for just $1. All donations go straight to the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Seattle. If you think you have what it takes to run SKHS, find out by running for office. Juniors are eligible for senior class or ASB officer. Sophomores and freshmen may run for cl class offices of their choice. It's not too late to sign up for grad night trip to Silverwood Theme Park after graduation. Space is limited, so sign up by April 15th to secure your spot on the bus. See Emily Real if you have any questions. Tickets are on sale every Thursday during lunches in the Commons. Now to clubs. 
There will be no DECA meeting tomorrow and no graphics club well as well. ICDC update. Permission slip, DECA code of conduct, and payment is due by Friday. Let's move on to who is meeting. Meeting today, we have CAD, GEMS, KEY, and speech and debate. And tomorrow, Bible, Everyone's Equality, Art, German, Journalism, not Knowledgeable, Spanish, and Magic and Trading Card Games. And as exciting as it is, spring break is closely approaching, so here's next week's schedule. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are regular full days for high school students with no late start on Wednesday. Thursday, we have no school district-wide for students. And Friday, high school student early release at 1040 a.m. This will be a B-Day. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of WTV. Have a howling Wednesday, South. Woo!